Hi, I'm Liana Kassar, and I'm an independent consultant, part-time legislator, and a parent living in Rhode Island. Like many people around the country, my day-to-day -day life has altered as my work life has slowed due to the mandates for social distancing and the reduction of scheduled legislative and work activities. The stillness is challenging, but it's the best public health intervention I can take to help keep me, my family, and my community healthy. We often think that action is the solution to everything, but in this case, for most of the population, limiting our actions will be the key to shortening the length of time the COVID-19 virus disrupts our lives. We have busy lives, that's our norm, but that makes it so that we also live rich lives with jobs and families and obligations, no matter our socioeconomic status. This time of social distancing and quarantining has upended so much of the busyness of our lives. But in slowing us down in some ways, it's also upended some of the richness. And many of us are feeling the emotional and physical ups and downs of this disruption. Sadness, irritability, stomach aches, loss of sleep are just some of the ways that individuals I know are manifesting this symptoms of this crisis. And of course, many of us are over-concerned that our standard cold symptoms are an indicator of exposure to the virus. Those worries make it even harder to follow the recommendations of our professionals to stay home and stay apart from the people in our lives. We're generally not very good at letting the medicine do its job when we're sick. Think of how we are when many of us take antibiotics or some pain medication. As soon as, as, soon as we stop feeling sick or stop feeling the discomfort, we get up and go and sometimes make the situation worse because we don't provide ourselves the time to heal. In the case of COVID-19, we'd all be better off if we take the full course of medicine that our healthcare providers and infectious disease experts recommend. The healing is not only has to happen within our own bodies, but within our systems, most specifically our healthcare system. Taking care of ourselves and staying home and social distancing is self-care for the collective well-being. But we can think about our health in different ways, including just making sure that we're taking care of our personal health. Really take a minute to think about how you're doing. How are the people in your home doing? How are the people in your extended given and chosen families doing? Consider what you need and what your loved ones need during this time may be different than what usually works for you. Be sure to communicate, show love, provide care, eat healthy, and safely get exercise. We also, beyond personal health, want to think about our community's health. How are our neighbors doing? How are our organizations and businesses doing? If there are small businesses that are still trying to stay open, are we supporting them? And is there anything you can build into your days to help? What information do you need to stay informed? What information can you share so that your neighbors stay informed? It's important to make sure to have daily contact with someone in your community. You can call or email a neighbor, write them a note, offer to walk someone's dog. Um, human contact is gonna be critical to keeping your healthy balance during this time. And then we wanna just make sure to take care of societal health. How are our healthcare providers doing? What can we be doing and not doing so that we are supporting them? They are taking care of us. They are on the front lines of this fight and it's going to be really important that we make sure our health system keeps going. The individuals who work in the health system are able to do their jobs. So check on your neighbors, family, and friends who work in healthcare. Thank the individuals who are working in any of the businesses you interact with these days or any of the businesses you're on the phone with um, while, or while you're out getting your essentials. We all play a role in improving the health of our communities, starting with ourselves. Let's take our medicine so that we can reduce the impact on our healthcare system and the risk to our healthcare providers so we can move past this virus as soon as possible. Take good care, communicate, show love, and wash your hands. Thank you.